So everyone's seen Squid Game at this point, right? I went from being a closet K-drama watcher to suddenly being the guy who liked cool shows before they were cool. The other day I was extremely bored at work and I figured I would take a break. I felt bad for not being productive so I decided I'd take on a little side project and remake all of the games represented in Squid Game in Unity. None of the games were looked that hard, they were all quite simple so I thought this was going to be a small fun project, and so far it has been. Starting with the first one, green light, red light, very simple, while the doll is singing its little jingle, you can move. When it stops, the doll turns around and you have to stop as well. If it stops you moving, you get eliminated. I started by making a simple player movement script, got a character model and some animations from Mixamo and hooked everything up to my script speed with a blend tree. Once that was done, I finished it off by adding a third person camera using Cinemachine. In the end, it ended up looking like this. Once that was done, I moved on to building the arena added some walls and looked through the asset store to see if I could find some good looking doll but ended up going with Robot Kyle, provided by Unity themselves. I also tried to find some good looking trees but very few use materials that are supported by URP which I am using in this project so I ended up discarding that option. Once I got all the models and animations in place I started working on the robot's logic, make it sing the song and when it stops it looks through all of the alive players to see if they are moving. If they are, it triggers the skill function which at this stage it just destroy the player. I started this out by using some simple AI logic, you know, mostly booleans to see if it was inspecting or not. Eventually I realized that it had more than just two states and I just decided to switch to a, a state machine so that I could control the delays of when it goes from counting to inspecting to waiting in a, an easier way which ended up helping a lot I think. I wanted the environment to feel as immersive as possible, as I tend to neglect that aspect a lot in my personal projects, so I added some extra sounds to the environment, as well as a stepping sound whenever the player's foot lands on the floor. I began doing this through colliders on the feet, but that was very janky and sometimes sounds would play when the foot moved just slightly instead of a whole step, so eventually I found out that playing the sound in the animation itself was easier in this case. Now that the movement was done, I began adding in the win and lose conditions, starting by adding a timer that counts down how long the player has to reach the end of the track. I also added in some AIs to serve as opponents for the player even though they don't pose much of a threat right now. I thought about adding a push mechanic just like the Roblox version did as well as a hide mechanic to mimic the technique that they used in the show and maybe I will add these in the future but for now this works just fine. On a complete project I would maybe turn this into multiplayer rather than AI um, but as a proof of concept this will do just fine. <laughs> Reaching the final stage of development now, I went on to creating some death animations, grabbing a couple of them from Mixmo and make one of them randomly spawn when a player is killed. Nothing fancy. I just expanded the kill function to play some sounds, play this animation and also add added a blood spat effect that is spawned whenever the player dies. 
I also created a start and finish line that keeps track of which players were able to win the challenge. Any player that does not cross the line on time gets executed. To finish off, I got some fonts from the font and used GIMP to create some menu backgrounds. I then went back to Unity and animated all of these to create some very simple win, win and lose menus. Here's the final version of a loss scenario and of a win scenario. And there you go, that was Red Line Green Light from Squid Game, represented in Unity. This was made in roughly 4 days over my breaks in work and sometimes at night. Um, took me about, I'm not sure, maybe 10 hours I want to say? Not even? Maybe 8, 6, 7? Around that time to develop this whole thing, it's also a very simple game. I intend on remaking all of them. Um, gonna try to have the honeycombs done in a week or so. Um, so stay tuned for that i hope you enjoyed this remaking mechanics episode i guess uh and i'll see you in the next one